Hello, my name is Rachel Fisher and I am here tonight at the Music Care Awards with Bionic Buzz celebrating the person of the year, John Bon Jovi. Stay tuned for more interviews to come. Awesome, so as a producer and songwriter yourself, what does it mean to be here tonight honoring Bon Jovi? <laughs> I mean, listen, Bon Jovi is an icon. Uh, to me, even though you didn't ask me for three words, I'm going to give you three words that come to mind. It's easier. Uh, adrenaline. Uh, energy. Rock. Rock and roll. It's more than three words. But no, listen, uh, I love Music Cares. This organization is incredible. As I said to somebody else, the icing on the cake is the artists that get honored. Uh, the organization itself is 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 the cake, it's the thing, it's amazing. Uh, and, but this is a good year. Bon, jo bon Jovi uh, is gonna bring the house down. I mean, he's such a consummate performer and uh, I've never seen him live, so I'm really excited. And I'm, I can't wait to see what guests come out to honor him. Plenty of great ones. And tell us, what is your creative process in the studio? Well, I think I'm still trying to figure that out. There's no, uh, no formula, exactly. Um, I, when inspiration strikes, I try to chase it. I try to not leave where I am or who I'm with for as long as possible. I'll say to people, hey, I mean, something's happening here, right? You feel it, I feel it, let's just stay for a week. Now, as I've gotten a bit older and I have little kids, I, I literally used to do that. Let's just stay together for five days. Let's just, let's stay here. Even. Um, because I think creativity and inspiration is so ephemeral. It is, whether it's divine, I don't know where it comes from. Um, but so the process is hopefully inspiration strikes and then comes sometime the pain, sometimes the painstaking part, which is, oh my gosh, we were inspired last night when we wrote the chorus in the first verse, but I have no idea what to write in the damn second verse. You know, my pro I'm super inspired by lyricists and storytellers like Billy Joel, so my bar is very high, which means that I'm often disappointing myself and annoying other people I write with because I'll say this isn't good enough this isn't good enough I'll say well I think it is it's better than look 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 what's on you know whatever look at it look at the chart right now and I'll say it doesn't matter it could be better but there's nothing more satisfying to me when you get that lyric um, music to me comes easier uh, faster melodies come faster I could listen to something I could play the piano and think of a thousand melodies pretty quickly and I think are all not that. Lyrics, harder. But I, but I, but I think when I, you know, I can write good lyrics when, when I'm inspired and take the time to do it. So, yeah, music first, lyrics second is generally what it is for me. Amazing. Well, it's a great pleasure to hear from you. Unbelievably long way to answer your question, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's not. I mean, Grammy nominated, you work with some amazing artists. You know this industry very well, so it goes to show someone also very young is still making it, and you have a long way to go, so pleasure meeting you. Hey, you too. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much.